All right, let's do the project together. Customize an org to support a new business unit. So let's combine this project into one video. First, manage user access. Let's go. So prepare your trailhead playground. So for this, I would recommend creating a new playground for you to create the steps. So it'll be clean and nice. All right. So basically here, we are going to create a new user. All right. So they have given us a field. Basically, for a real world example, somebody just joined your organization, a new staff. So as an admin, you are responsible for new staff setup. So new staff just joined the company, the business, the org, um, the nonprofit org. You set up the user. So let's pretend Fumiko Suzuki just joined us. So let's set up a new Salesforce user for Fumiko. Okay, let's go here. So we are on the setup part, right? You remember this already. You should by now set up. And then let's go to users and users. All right, so I am going to create a new user. We have a limited, because this is a free uh, developer org. And I'm just gonna make sure I have enough. Um, should I delete one? I don't think so. Let's create new user for Fumiko. So let's copy paste. So whenever you're doing a project or a challenge in Salesforce uh, Trailhead, you have to have exactly what it's required. So Fumiko, Suzuki, you know, you can fast forward this video as you go along, but don't skip, you know, you can fast forward like um, the speed of the video, like 1.5 or twice the speed of the video, right? While we are doing this. So username auto populates, nickname is F Suzu, alias as F Suzu, make sure that's right. Yep. Um, so username is F Suzuki, wait, wait, nickname was it? Oopsie, whoopsie daisy. Nickname, title, look, um, email address, we have to make one up. So I'm gonna make up F Suzuki at son.io. Wait. Did I? All right. Let's copy that as the username. So the title is a customer support rep. So Fumiko will be doing customer support for our organization. Customer support rep. The company is um, your company. Just make one up. Wait. What was that department is customer support. I'm just going to make this zone dot IO um, role customer support international Salesforce platform. This is the user license. So role. Well, we don't have that yet, do we? Oh, it's already there. Cool. Customer support international. So user license is the Salesforce platform. Profile would be standard platform user. Okay, next time zone. So Fumiko will be working from our office in Tokyo in Japan. So the time zone for um, Fumiko would be GMT plus nine hours, Japan standard time, GMT plus nine hours. So it would be down here, time zone. So GMT plus, not minus, plus nine hours. Um, over here, Japan standard time, Asia, Tokyo, nice. So local Japanese, J. So she will be working from our Japanese um, location, ooh, language, Japanese. Would that switch the whole language? 
um, yeah, when we're logged in as Fumiko. So, then click save and new. All right, second one. Oh, do we have enough license? Let's see. I uh, generate new password and notify sure save and new next I hope we have enough license I forgot how many license do we have for free okay for the playground or the developer or Aaron Hartzler so first name is Aaron last name is Hartzler alias um, a heart populate so I'm gonna use the email as a at zone.io oh, all our case username is that nickname I want nickname to have a heart slur what else do we have Customer support rep, customer support department, title customer support rep. Let's just copy it. Department is customer support, customer support North America. Role is customer support North America. User license would be Salesforce, uh, Salesforce. Profile would be Right, let's see Salesforce profile is standard user so don't make up your own stuff because this is a project the challenge will check everything has to be exactly right so and save so we have just created two user one for North America and one for Tokyo Japan and that's pretty much it for this step pretty simple okay I'm gonna hit verify step to get only 100 points well that's easy anyways okay let's complete this and move on to the next challenge to the next step see it's trying to check and we got it okay tackle the next step let's do this manage chatter so follow account records User needs to follow certain records so they can see updates in their chatter feed, right? So let's set this up. So we want our users in our Salesforce org to be able to follow certain records, okay, through chatter field, including field changes, posts, tasks, and comments. Show Aaron how to follow an account, then create a case under the records his following okay let's do this um, let's go to the app launcher and service and then accounts tab app launcher service and then let's go to the accounts tab there and then account list edge communications and follow edge communications I'm gonna close this guy so you can follow click follow there boom now we are following this account or record edge communications all right we are following now create a case on the edge communications account and then cases let's make a new case so related list here we have cases here right make a new case this is the button on the case related list tab hit new make a new case now we have to do exactly as the project requires case origin is email um, origin is email there next type electronic case reason performance type is electronic case reason is performance and then subject laptop not working boom subject um, subject here laptop not working description client new laptop not working buy a new one <laughs> all right so um, 
click save so we basically created a new case for edge communications there we have it and if you see there laptop not working that's the new case right so now create a chatter group so we're gonna go app launcher groups and then new all right app launcher groups this is how you create new groups groups boom and then create new group here boom so what do we want to create um, edge communications customer support that's a new group the description would be collaboration space for customer support teams related to edge communications makes sense access type private allow customers select so access type private allow customers what does that mean this is for community cloud so if customers is logging in and they can also see the case updates okay let's uh, save and next we don't need an image uh, members do we have to add members so Fumiko um, add Fumiko and Aaron Hatzler um, add what about Fumiko yay Fumiko from Japan so she's also a member boom so just making sure <laughs> We don't want to keep doing it. So it's a member and Aaron is also a member. So done. Yay, Fumiko and Aaron is now a member of Edge Communications Customer Support. Right on. Okay, done. What it says, share an update. So we want to share an update there, right? Um, here share an update here click on there and then you post that exactly like that welcome to the edge customer support group we will use this space to share efficiency and workflow improvement ideas for edge communication customer support cases okay <laughs> share boom so now Fumiko and Aaron will also see this because they they are a member of this group right so we just posted this that will also go to Fumiko and Aaron so that's how you can you can share um, to, to groups across your Salesforce org so to get member participation role rolling in his new group Aaron asks you to show him how to post a poll here are the instructions navigate to groups click edge communication support we are already there click poll to choose the poll action so this is question yes and no poll boom what is the question boom are we going are we doing a good job handling edge communication customer support inquiries well I can speak fast too you know <laughs> yes and no yes no ask so that's the poll you can you can participate right and then you can view the results pretty nice right pretty nice Salesforce is nice I like it all right that's pretty much it okay get the hundred points and let's move on what's the next one let's see bada bing bada boom All right, tackle the next step. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom